Hello everyone, this is the Board Game Swede, and we're still playing Eldritch Horror against Itaqua. So, so far so good. First turn went pretty good for everyone except, well, Wilson. He lost two health against the Nopki monster, but that's okay, I guess. So now we have a rumor on the board, but it's not that big of a deal. Not yet, anyways. So, let's start with action phase, shall we? So, here we have Wilson. And for his first action, he will use his own to gain an asset from the of your choice with a value of 1 from the reserve. So, he will get that genealogy research that we drew last time. So, when he defeats a monster during a combat encounter with toughness two or more he may examine the creature's remains and he might gain two clues which we need and he will focus as his second action because we need focuses against the Takwa. and after that we have Diana over in Arkham she will, uh, or first we will refill the reserve, so we have an Arcane Scholar, an ally. You gain plus one uh, lore, and you may reroll one lore, or one die when resolving a lore test. So she will, first off, she will focus as well. Here we have focus. And then I think she will stay in Arkham, trying to get that clue. And uh, hmm, she will gain a boat ticket, I think. Yes, so she will gain a boat ticket. So that were those actions. Let's go over to... Um, Daisy and Ursula. Okay, so now here we are with Daisy. She will uh, she will do a focus action as well. So this righteous thing triggers then when you uh, when you perform a focus action or a rest action, gain one focus or recover one sanity. So she will gain one additional focus which is great there you go then after that she will use her uh, arcane insight spell as an action choose yourself or another investigator on any space and test lore minus two roll one additional die for each tome possession you have if you pass, that investigator gains a clue. So I will do this for uh, Diana, I think. So lore minus two. She has four lore, so that will be two. But she also has two tomes, the Old Journal and the King James Bible. So she will roll four dice. Let's see if we can fix this. Yes. Four dice. And she also has two focus rowers, so we might use one. See here, so one success, we have a five over here. So that's great. We succeed with one success. So Diana Stanley will gain one clue. Then we will flip the Arcane Insight spell. Um, resolve the effect based on your test results. Zero to two. All knowledge of all times and places assault your feeble mind, shredding your previous except perceptions of reality. That investigator loses two sanity unless he has a tome possession. She actually has a tome, so that is arcane manuscripts, which she has. So, No harm done. Great. So at least now we know what that spell looks like flipped. 
and finally we have Ursula so she will move to Rome as well and then she will test influence to see if she can gain an asset from the reserve here we go two dice she has two influence and we gain one success we have a six so hmm she could get the intelligence report if we gained a bank loan but I think I'd rather have the hired ma muscle actually so we will take a bank loan to give us three successes and the hired muscle only costs two so we will waste one success but oh well that's life so now Ursula has an ally so that's great but unfortunately she also has a deck condition so we will try to find one from the deck here we have the deck, so let's see here. Here we have the first deck condition. So it's a common condition, it's a deal. As a local action, you may test influence. If you pass, discard this card. So what local action means that everyone on your space can uh, try to do this. And if a reckoning happens, some men has, have come to collect your debt. Flip this card. So. This might be a bit of a gamble since it's pretty probable that the next Mythos card will have a Reckoning. We will see. So I'll see you over at Wilson as we start the encounters. Okay, Wilson. He is in San Francisco with a clue, so he will do a research encounter in San Francisco again. See if he can be a bit more lucky this time. So let's see if we can focus here. Uh, you hear screams from a nearby home and rush to investigate. The door has been left ajar and you find a man holding a bloody knife. Test Will. So Wilson's Will is three. So we will roll three dice, see what happens. We got one six, so that's a success. So let's see what happens. If you pass, you act quickly and subdue the madman, saving his victim. Gain one random ally asset from the deck. Okay, so no clues sadly, but at least we got an ally. So let's get the deck and see which ally we get. Oh, sorry about that. I also forgot to fill up the reserve. So the reserve will have uh, an uh, agent of society or s agent of secrets. You gain plus one lore and plus one observation and you may reroll one die when resolving a lore or a test or an observation test. So sadly we won't get that because that would have been in the reserve. So let's see what the first ally we get will be. Nope. 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 Here we go. We got a Mystic Bounty Hunter. So we get plus one strength during combat encounters and plus two lore when resolving spell effects. So I guess that's decent. We will shuffle the deck. There we go. And then it's Diana Stanley. So she is also on a city with a clue. So we will do another city research encounter. So let's see what happens to her. Uh, you search through the library's occult literature for any hints at the cause of the strange weather. Test observation. So her observation is three. So we will roll this these three dice again. 
see if we can be successful. And we failed. Hmm. Should I use a focus? No, I kind of want that in case we get hypothermia. So yeah, let's see what happens if we fail. If you fail, the search is tiring and fruitless. Lose one sanity. So I guess that's not the end of the world, but maybe it is. Who knows, since we can't get those clues. Ah, uh, that's annoying. So, Diana will lose one sanity. There we go. And then we will move over to uh, Daisy and Ursula in Rome. So, see you there. Okay, so now we're with Daisy and Ursula in Rome. So, first off, we will try to do another encounter with Daisy in Rome. Uh, here we go. See if we can focus again. Yes. The Sistine Chapel is temporar temporarily closed, but you attempt to sneak inside. Test observation. Okay. So her observation is two, which is not that great, but at least we have two focus, so we might want to use one of them if we fail. So let's see here what we get. A three and a four, so no success. We will spend one focus to re-roll one die, and we still fail. <sighs> okay, let's see what happens when we fail. If you fail, you are caught and arrested, gain a detained condition. Ah. Uh. That's not that good. So let's get the conditions out. Here we go. And gain the first detained condition. Here we go. So, detained. Restriction. You cannot move or perform actions other than the action on this card. And instead of resolving an encounter, flip this card. As a local action, test influence. If you pass, discard this card. might be problematic we'll see maybe Ursula can help her out maybe not we'll see so up next is Ursula and she also is going to have a Rome encounter let's see in the copper shoot Capuchin Crypt, you are surrounded by the bones of thousands of dead monks, arranged in strange patterns. The sight forces you to confront your own impending death. You may spend two sanity to face your fears and discover a new sense of destiny. If you spend the sanity, gain the blessed condition. We will definitely spend two sanity. So, uh, trade this in. Lose two sanity. But we will also gain a bless condition. So let's see the first one we get. Here we go. It's a boon. Four, fives, and sixes counts as successes on your tests. If you would gain another bless condition, flip this card instead. If you would gain a curse condition, discard this card instead. And on the Reckoning effect, roll one die. On a one or two, discard this card. So yes, we have a blessed, blessed investigator, so that's great. So next up, we have the Mythos phase. Okay, so here we have the next Mythos card. It's... Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I know this one. This is terrible. So we have another rumor, but this one has tentacles on it. So we have to spawn two clues first. So let's do that. We have a clue in 
we have one on the pyramids. Let's move this. So here we go. And we have a clue on space 13, which is all the way up north, up here. And uh, let's see. We will spawn three Eldritch tokens on this rumor. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go, three Eldritch tokens. So let's see what it says. Hmm. A dark force hidden in the southernmost part of the world has torn the twin spawn of Cthulhu free from their bonds on Jupiter. Vast in size, the duo now leave horror and devastation in their wake. Twin spawn of Cthulhu. Ongoing rumor. When this card enters play, spawn the Noctosa epic monster on space 12 and the Noctulu epic monster on space 18. When both have been defeated, solve this rumor. When there are no Eldritch tokens on this card, each investigator loses 6 sanity, then solve this rumor. Uh, on a reckoning, discard one Eldritch token from this card unless investigators as a group spend clues equal to half investigators. Ah, so now we have tons of stuff we have to spend clues on. Uh, this is gonna be problematic. Very problematic. Maybe we'll have. Wilson, go down to the twin spawns, see if we can find them first. Hold on a minute. Okay, so here we have Nectosa, which will spawn on space 12. Will test, minus one. Strength test, and it is physical resistance, has physical resistance. So, that means that normal Weapons won't work on it, so you have to use magic if you want to have some kind of chance, basically. So this will spawn on space 12, which is down here. There we go. And then we have Nakthulu. And it's basically just as bad. Toughness equal to half investigators plus two. So they both have four toughness. But this one has magical resistance instead, so no magic will work on it, so we have to use physical weapons. And this will spawn over here on space 18. So now we have a terrible rumor on the board as well as a not so terrible one. But at least there are no more rumors. After this, according to Itaqua's uh, sheet over there, so far he hasn't done anything, but oh well. Yeah, so that was turn number two. So uh, let's go ahead and have another one. Okay, so I have moved the lead investigator token, so now it's Daisy Walker who will start this round off. Let's zoom in on Daisy and Ursula. Here we go. So, Daisy has this detained condition, which we will... We will roll for, so... Hopefully we will get rid of it right away. We probably will use the focus if we have to. An influence test, she has three influence, so we will roll three dice. There we go. So let's see what happens. We got two successes, so great. Test influence, if you pass, discard this card. Finally. Uh, After that, we will try to do her Arcane Insight spell. 
again. We will trigger or target Diana Stanley once more. So remember, she has two tomes, and it is a uh, lore test minus two. She has four lore, but you get gain one additional die for each tome you have. So we have four dice. Let's see if we can be successful this time as well. And yes, we have a five. Don't know if it's in the shot. Sorry if it's not. There you go. It's a five. So, Diana Stanley will gain one more clue. So now she has two of them. Which might be enough to try to put an Eldritch token on uh, the active mystery. We'll see. So that was Daisy. Now we have uh, Ursula. She is also in Rome. However, I think she will move to. Uh, oh, right, she has a debt condition as well. So, first off, we'll try to get rid of the debt. She has two influence, but she is blessed. So let's see here, we have two blue blessed dice. So let's see if we are successful. Yes, two successes, great. So we will get rid of the debt. And I will just check the mystery again see what happened if you want to solve it so you have to fight a vendigo right ah she might be able to do that so we will move ursula to space number 14 see if we can get going on that rumor or that um, mystery Right, so let's get over to Wilson. Okay, here we have Wilson. I think he will actually get a boat ticket. And he will move... Boom! All the way over to Tokyo. So, this way we might be able to fight the uh, epic monsters without actually being there. So. Since he fails on everything else, he might as well try to do something useful. <laughs> and uh, after that, we have uh, Diana Stanley. So here we have Diana. She will she will test her influence, see if she can. Uh, Gain that arcane scholar, or maybe, maybe she should rest. How much health does she have? Uh, she only lost one. No, it's not so bad. So well, I know the next mythos card will have a reckoning effect, though. Hmm. Yeah. I guess ah, she will gain another focus. And she will move to Chicago or whatever. See if we can get rid of that rumor. Yes, over to the encounter phase. So first off, we have uh, Daisy. She is in Rome still. So let's see if we can do something there this time. Not get arrested. A group of black shirts are interrogating an old priest. You try to intervene. Test influence. So we have three influence. Roll three dice. See what happens. Yes, we get one success. Here we have a five. Sorry about that not being in the shot. 
So what happens? If you pass, they let the priest go and he is eternally grateful. Gain a blessed condition. Yes, that's what we like to see. Another blessed investigator. So let's see if we can find a blessed condition. Here we go. So it's the same as the one Ursula has. You can just focus. Yes, there we go. So now you can read it. So now uh, Daisy has both of the boon conditions. So I guess she is really something. <sighs> and then we have Ursula up on the Eldritch token. Whoops, there goes one die flying off the table. Oh well. So, yeah. Uh, space 14, so let's see what happens here. Um, as an encounter, an investigator in space containing an Eldritch token may confront the cannibals. A Vendigo monster ambushes him. If he defeats it, he may spend two clues to place an Eldritch token on this card. Okay, so the Vendigo, here we go. That's this thing. He has uh, a regular will test, so she has a will of three. She is also blessed. So we have blue dice. Let's see if we can get at least one success. So let's see. And yes, two successes, so no sanity damage. All right, we have a we have to fight it as well. <laughs> so let's see here. It has two toughness, and it's a strength test minus one. But you take quite a lot of damage if you don't. You also might gain a hunger condition if you defeat it. So well, we'll see. So she has. 3 strength plus 1 from the hired muscle, so that's 4, minus 1, that's 3. And because of the hired muscle we may reroll one die. We also have her own ability that she can use one focus freely. And she also has one focus, so hopefully this will work out. Let's do this. Yes, two successes. Yeah, I will take that one damage to defeat it. So, we defeat the Vendigo. But we will also have to roll one die. On a one or a two, we gain a hunger condition. So, let's see here what we roll. Hopefully no one or two. Oops, I missed the table. So, thankfully that, or the thing. So, thankfully that doesn't count. And we have a three, so yep, nothing happens. So what could we do then? We can spend two clues to put that Eldritch token on this card. So we will put that Eldritch token on this card. We will discard two of Ursula's clues. Uh, there we go. So now she has no clues left. But we're halfway to solving the first mystery. And uh, next up, we will go to Tokyo with Wilson. So here we are in Tokyo. So he will draw a purple encounter here. Tokyo. Let's see what happens. Uh, Japanese scientists have struck a bargain with the Maigo. You try to break into one of their laboratories. Test observation. So his observation is 2, which is not that great, but he has a focus if we have to use it, and his ability is that you have to reroll 2 dice when you spend a focus instead of just 1. So let's see what happens. <sighs> Why is he so terrible? So he will use his focus to reroll 2 dice, so at least we get to reroll the both of them. 
Yes, finally a success. Ah, so what happens? If you pass, you find a radio that can control monstrous beings. Discard one monster of your choice with toughness three or less from any space. Hmm, great. However, that doesn't work on the epic monsters, and even if it did, they have four toughness, so... But at least we can discard the skeleton, which is nice. So now that gate is unguarded, we might be able to close it. So, we'll discard the skeleton here. Back to the monster bag, there you go. Finally, he did something right. And let's zoom over to Diana Stanley. She is in Chicago. Here we go with Diana Stanley in Chicago. She will uh, also do, do the mystery since she also has two clues, thanks to Daisy. So we have to fight a Vendigo once again. So a will test. However, her special ability is that she only has to roll or you reduce the horror by one, so it's well, it doesn't really affect it, but she only has one die. So we'll see what happens. And we fail, so Diana will lose one sanity. I'm okay with that. And then we have to fight the actual monster. So, strength minus one. She has a strength of three. But she also has the Wither spell. So, see here we test lore. And if we pass, we gain plus three to our... Um, to our combat. So we have four dice since she has four lore. Oh, yeah, she has the arcane manuscript as well. So we have five dice actually. So, yes, five dice. And only one success, but one success is enough. So let's see what happens. So we gain plus three. So she has six strength. But we flip the card. Um. The harmful magic lingers in your body. Lose one health. Eh, I can li live with that as well. So we have six strength. And the Vendigo has minus, minus one. So we get five dice when fighting it. We also have two focus, which we might use because we have to get two successes to kill the Vendigo. Let's try this. Yes, two successes. A five and a six. So that's enough. We take one damage more. That's great. We also have to roll one die to see if we gain a hunger condition. Let's try to hit the thing this time. <laughs> yes, a four, so nothing happens. We defeat the Vendigo. We place the Eldritch token on the mystery. And uh, Diana spends two clues. So, all's well, it ends well. Sadly, now we have no clues at all. We'll see what happens next. So, here we go. So, let's Mythos draw the phase. next Mythos card. It's. A uh, terrible, terrible reckoning card. So first off, we move the omen. So now it's on the blue symbol, but we have no blue gates. The only gate we have is green. Then we have the reckoning effect. So first off, it's the monsters. They do nothing. And then we have Itakwa himself. Uh, each investigator gains a hypothermia condition unless he spends one focus. So everyone has at least one focus, except Wilson, of course. So Wilson will gain a hypothermia condition. Let's see if we can find one here. It's not. Oh, there we go. Hypothermia. Uh, 
When you perform a wrist action, you cannot recover health. Roll one die on a 4, 5, or 6. Discard this card. If you would gain another hypothermia condition, flip this card instead. So, I guess it's not too terrible for him yet, since he still has 6 health. So, uh, Diana will use 1 focus. So will uh, Daisy. And Ursula has her free focus she can use. I don't think we have used that this turn. If we have, I will probably fix it later. Hopefully, if I remember. So, yes, two focus gone. Then we have the rumors. So first off, we have the Fractured Reality, which just says remove one Eldritch token from this card. So one Eldritch token gone. And then we have the Twin Spawn of Cthulhu. Discard one Eldritch token from this card. And this Investigators as a group spend clues equal to half Investigators. So we can't do that, so we will lose one Eldritch token on that card as well. Which is no good at all. So we will definitely have to try to get more clues. <sighs> yeah. And then we have uh, possessions and conditions. So first off... Well, we only have good conditions actually. Except for the hypothermia, but that doesn't trigger. So first off we have Daisy. She is blessed, so we roll a die. On our 1 and 2, we discard the blessed condition. We gain, get a 3, so nothing happens. And she also has Righteous. You may flip this card. I don't know what that does, but... Yeah, let's try it. See what it says. That which does not kill us. The horrid creature wraps its foul tendrils around your leg, pulling you into the dark. I'm not dying here, you shout, firing into the beast's flesh until it releases you. After escaping, you feel as though you could take on any number, take on any threat, discard any number of your conditions, or improve two skills of your choice, then discard this card. So I can't discard any, or well, I can discard the best one, but I won't do that. So we get to improve two of our skills, and but we lose the Righteous. However, that's pretty good. So she has a lore of four. And influence of three. Let's improve our observation first, because a lot of her things has to do with observation. So now she has three observation. And let's improve her lore, why not? So, see if we can find one here, yes. So now she's better in both lore and in observation, great. Next up we have Ursula, who is also blessed, so we will roll one die. But we gained a two, so sadly she is not blessed anymore. At least she was blessed when we needed it the most. Okay, so that was the Reckoning, and then we have to spawn a gate, so let's see what happens there, first gate, we have Buenos Aires, it's a blue gate, we also have to spawn one monster on that gate, so let's see what it will be, here we go, we have a vampire. Nice. Well, it's pretty tough, so it's not that nice. So, uh, yep, three toughness, minus two strength test. If you fail the, the will test, you cannot do the strength test. And if you lose health during the strength test, this monster, and the monster is not defeated, it recovers two health. So it will suck your blood dry. I don't know about that, but we have a terrible vampire on our hands. And then we have the actual card. 
The Storm. Each investigator discards clues equal to the number of rumor mythos cards in play. Um, well, at least we got this at, this is a good, at a good time since we used all our clues during the encounters. We have no clues. And if they're so, we can't do that. And we have rumor cards, so... Oh yeah, this was the card I got last time that screwed us over. Oh well. We have rumors card in play, so nothing happens, I guess. Let me know if I'm wrong. So that was the Mythos phase. And that was the end of turn 3. And I thank you all so very much for watching. Have a good one!